was the most talented athlete ever. What a catch, Bo Jackson! He was just gifted beyond any athlete I've ever seen. Bo Jackson can stop Reynolds from scoring. He can't do it. Yes, he can! I don't believe it! I witnessed him take the bat and smack it in half off his knee. We talk about brute strength. Legend of Bo Jackson continues to grow. You go to Kansas City, they got these fountains, and then it goes up probably about 25 feet, and another set of fountains start, and he's hitting stuff up into the second fountains. Back she goes, and this one is in the fountain. Strong, smart, coordinated, daring, whatever adjective you want to throw on him, Bo. Swift and fast. What speed? That is incredible. We do not have any time. Amazing freakish. Bow on the charge. Bow is there. Yo, <laughs> that was the magic of Bow. He had talent that the rest of us can't even begin to comprehend. He could do it all, man. Here comes after baseball season is a hobby. Al was a guy that was intrigued by great physical specimens, and there was no better physical specimen than Bo Jackson. It's a foot race. Will anybody catch him? Holy Toledo! And he was six feet one. He was 230 pounds, chiseled marble, incredible speed, breathtaking speed. There were clockings of him running the 40-yard dash in 4.12 seconds. You're talking about a once-in-a-generation player. Number three is Bo. Great unofficial 4 1 2 40 at the 86 scouting combine. Best athlete I have ever seen. Par none. First athlete to be named an all star in two major sports. And offered our number six steal full time money to wear silver and black as an off season hobby. It was kind of classic Al Davis in that he thought it was a throwaway pick. He was going to roll the dice. So you had an executive that was willing to take chances. And he took a chance on an athlete that was not afraid to be unconventional. The problem in our society is there are a lot of people who don't want him to do both. Let him do it. Let's get behind him. It would be great for America. Quick pitch to Bo, trying to sweep the left side. Turns it up to the 10, 15, up the left side, the 20. He's at the 30. Maybe nobody will get him. 50. You talk about athletes that transcend sport. He transcended all sport. Bo knows football. The marketing campaign that they came up with, that Mikey came up with, was brilliant. Bo knows basketball, too. Bo knows tennis? No. Bo couldn't have been Bo had he been a Tampa Bay Buck. In the end, the Raiders got four seasons and a superstar. Tampa Bay got absolutely nothing. And a quick pitch to Jackson, getting an Allen block, cuts under it, bangs through Boswell, touchdown Raiders! He played eight to nine games a year, was never really in shape for football. Bo Jackson, had he played football, would have set standards that even today wouldn't be topped.
beats the Seahawks defender. We're tied 7-7. Second quarter, here comes Bo Wilson to Jackson. His first NFL touchdown, it's 14-7, but he is not finished yet because he takes the handoff here, and Bo goes. What speed? And he says he's slow. He'll go 91 yards for a score. That is the longest run ever by a Raider. Jackson rushes for a team record 221 yards. This makes it 21-7, and Bo keeps going. And Bo, Bo, he's on his way to Vancouver. Send out a search party. Big Bear is on his 